Hi, here with T-Rex Truck Products. I'm here with Hank in his 2018 Super Duty. We helped out Hank this year with our Laser X Grill from T-Rex Grills. Thanks for uh, hanging out, Hank. Most definitely, man. It's been awesome. Once we've gotten here, it's been nothing but love so far. So. Yeah, man, this is definitely a showstopper. We can't even get an interview with you, with you without everybody coming up and wanting to talk uh, to you. Yeah, no, once I turn the Dremel on and get down, yeah, it's man. definitely a, a crowd stopper for sure. So we're going to tell you guys all about what Hank does, but first, let's learn about the truck. What do you got here? Most definitely. So this is a 2018. F-250 dubbed a country state of mind and pretty much the entire body has been Dremel engraved with portraits of country legends both alive and dead and kind of just paying tribute to old school country and uh, pretty much running running you throughout the build. 2018 like I said we did uh, the matte black wrap up on the top over here we yeah. have the X metal grill to match it out in fab bumpers with the 40 inch Unite um, Vision X LED bars 6 inch lift, super lift on there, the 22 by 12 TISs wrapped on some 38 nittos. American stitched American flag headliner with the road wire kit up in there. It's beautiful inside. Right? Well, I, That's the screen. This thing is just full of all little little Easter eggs and secrets all, all over the place. Like I right now, I just saw the headliner. Yeah. And we'll get to that in a few minutes. Uh, what's going on around the side here? We're gonna get to the graphics and the and the the, the craftsmanship involved in his his Dremel etching. But let's look at some of the products first. Oh, definitely. What kind of wheels you got? So rocking Nitto Trail Graph. We're 38 by 13 and a half, 22 by 12. So we're rocking on the TI. So it's beautiful, man. They ride perfect. Nitto always comes through. In fab nerf bars, side step. Yeah, yeah. So we matches the in fab up front and rear on the rear front bumpers, and then the side steps as well. Did you paint them? You painted them, right? Yeah, yeah. So all yeah. The color match. Yeah, you wanted that perfect match. Exactly. Right on, man. Absolute show truck for sure. Um, let's get into the Dremel engraving. Love it. How long have you been doing it? So I've been engraving full time for about ten years now. I did ten years in the army. Yeah. Uh, came back off of a couple. Of Deployments from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Ended up going to welding school and found the Dremel there, and literally haven't put it down since. How did so, you get started? Did you just start playing around? So it was literally once I was in welding school. My instructor was fabbing up a surfboard for my son Ryder, uh -huh. and I, he asked me to put my name on it. And there happened to be a Dremel at the school. I wrote my name on it, and I was like, something clicked in my head. I was super cool. I ended up being super broke at the time, like, and it was around uh, Christmas time. So I was like, I'm gonna just make people stuff for Christmas. Mm. Ended up posting it online people started ordering stuff and and you kind of blew up because didn't you do a lot of wheel hoops and stuff like that yeah yeah so for the you know, we've been coming to SEMA since 2015 mm -hmm. uh, engraving trucks since 2016 mm -hmm. so it's kind of just been crazy I'm the official engraver for Dremel as well as the official mm -hmm. engraver for Monster Energy mm -hmm. so doing the, both of those show circuits and the custom truck scene so it's just been it's been awesome right on man so why don't you go through the process a little bit do you do like an outline yeah, yeah. Like, like a tattoo artist would for sure you work the same so way when I when I start on this I kind of have an idea of about what I want to do mm -hmm. and then I'll use a carbon pin to get a base outline mm -hmm. and get my proportions yeah correct. yeah and then once once that's done it's time to engrave and there's literally no room for error after that so nice let's go let's go around the truck um, and just point out kind of the different iconic uh, performers or country Most artists that you got here yeah so I mean pretty much right up front we got uh, Patsy Klein Super old school country, like you know, everything in the background as well is all Nashville, Broadway type stuff. So yeah. I really bring in the entire feel of it. I mean, Randy Travis, See Johnny Cash. Yeah, Johnny Cash on there, Charlie Pride, Hank Williams, Hank Jr., Williams Reba, Reba, Brooks and Dunn, Conway Twitty. Uh, and I'm, these are the three that I'm working on throughout the show. All right. A little bit to do on the other side as well, but just do a live demo throughout the show and kind of letting everybody know what it is. It's not a rap. <laughs> you know, I've got so many people come up. And I'm like, no, we're actually going to get down in the grave. I one. can't believe you're actually doing this here because a lot of this looks clear coated. When I first yeah. walked by it, I thought you had already done it and cleared over it. No, so it's actually stock, the stock graphite color, engraving through the clear and the paint itself wow. into the aluminum body. And you never have problems with flaking or anything? Never. So oh, I use dang. a carbide ball burr. It's a really good cut line. Oh, yeah. So we put pressure washers up to this. Oh, I've had, wow. I've had a raw truck for dang. years going in different out of elements. The aluminum on here is super tough. Will you eventually do something to protect the raw metal? 100%. Yeah. So once we get back, I'll finish it up this weekend. Uh -huh. We'll get back to the shop. I'll kind of chill out for a week and then we'll scuff it up and clear it, oh, clear it, yeah. clear it over. Wow, man. It's amazing. It's insane. Thank you. Let's go around the truck and uh, he's going to show us a little demonstration of what he does.